have these little rest stops off the expressway. They're just like the ones in the west. In fact, I actually think they're nicer. But, you know, they got, you know, families taking a breast. And weary travelers on these giant coaches going to all these cities and giant trucks. It's lovely to just pull off the side of the expressway, <laughs> stretch your legs. city of Chaozhou. It, together with uh, Shantou and Zhejiang, all three of these cities <clears throat> are in the same area and together they make up the what's known as Chaoshan. And this is a very ancient city. This city has been around for over 2,000 years. And the area that I'm in is the heart of it all. Uh, there's ancient temples and walls and ancient and preserved parts of the city including a bridge that is over 900 years old. And uh, it's the main attraction. Now, there's no real good hotels in this city, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm gonna head down probably to Shantou after this and stay downtown Shantou. Selling traditional wares and you know, traditional clothing. Very neat stuff. known as the Guanji Bridge and it's one of the four ancient bridges of China. It was built in 1171 during the Song Dynasty and it is beautiful. It's even more beautiful at night. Today's kind of a overcast winter day and it's in the heart of the ancient city here in Chaozhou. Like I said, people have been here for well over 2,000 years. This is an old, old city. The original bridge was made of 84 pontoon boats that stretched the river. Um, it's not that anymore. I only count maybe 15 or so left. It's still really impressive. But to this day, it is still the only operating open and closed pontoon bridge in the world. Only 20 RMB for a ticket to walk across it. And of course, like many tourist attractions in China, they play traditional Chinese music and the speakers as you walk across. Adds to the flavor a little bit, I think. My very first boss in China is from this town. She was like a mentor to me and really, really sold me on living in China and checking it all out. And she always told me about this place. I always wanted to see it. So I just sent her a photo and said, look where I'm at. <laughs> it's really neat. There's nothing like this you will find in the West. It's not fake, it's real. Those, these are real boats just floating in the water that this bridge is part of. All made out of wood. Very, very impressive and quite famous here in China. Most people know about this. I just wish the weather was a little bit nicer. You can't really see very far. Spend the entire day walking around this ancient town and not see everything. It's going to take a couple days. I only have a couple of hours before I head out to the next city. <laughs> this is um, a walking street that intersected by some traffic, but not much. Lots of local snacks. It's a great place to spend a day walking around. Street, and it's a two mile long stretch with all these archways that's very very famous in China and branching off from the main street are all these alleyways with restaurants and shops and it's got a really rich kind of cultural atmosphere here it's great and it goes on and on and on it's impressive it's like one archway and one walking shopping plaza after another street pattern was all laid out well over a thousand years ago. The modern version of it was built during the early days of the Republic. No, I just picked a random street to walk down because they all kind of look the same from a naked eye and look at these. They're really really nice. They're full of life and flowers and there's children running around. 
Lots of old, old houses with very beautiful, I mean, ornate kind of gates, not to mention all kinds of delicious smells. I'll come back, of course. You know, one thing about walkabout is you can't linger in one place for too long. You have to keep moving. You can really get lost in these alleyways and find like hidden gems, little restaurants, little ancestry halls, just beautiful, gorgeous entrances with incredible paintings on the doors. In the touristy areas, everything has English translations, but you get into the alleyways and of course, there's none of that, the way it should be. I don't see any other foreigners here. I haven't seen them. I'm the only one that I've seen. I'm not sure it's a very popular place for, for foreign tourists to come. 